guys! Uh, Greg's away, so I'm all alone. Um, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our journey through making a YouTube channel and getting started. Dun, 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 dun. So first of all, to get started, our intention uh, for a YouTube channel. So we have our product, Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy Forms. Um, we have Instagram and we have Facebook, which are two really good platforms for social media and creating a little bit of brand awareness. Um, when we started looking into the digital marketing scene, we discovered that YouTube was a really good way to get um, known. So get our product known and push it, get it out there. It's really good to be able to post your YouTube videos on Instagram if you just want a short little portion of it or you can post the whole thing on Facebook and the likes of LinkedIn as well if you're a business and you want to sort of push a little bit about your business or your product. So our intention and our goal at the beginning and still is now is to get our product known. So we're really trying to brand our product and get our brand out there. So you're more likely to purchase something that you know or that you've seen the branding before, you know it's a good product and you're gonna go for it. So YouTube's a really good opportunity to make yourself known to people who are looking for the kind of thing that you're offering and going from there. So obviously our goal is to get our product known um, and results have been slow, you know. Um, we all hear these stories about startups who um, are an overnight success and 99% of the time it's just not like that. So with YouTube and um, slowly building subscribers, our results have been slow but you have to take every subscriber as, you know, a small win, like yes! I got another one or every view is a small win you know people are engaging in what you have to offer they're watching your videos and at the same time you're building knowledge about your brand and your product which is really cool it's all really great to have um, these intentions and these goals you know you want to build your product and everything like that but Getting started wasn't that easy for me, to be honest with you. Um, we have Facebook and we have Instagram and I thought these social media platforms, um, as well as LinkedIn, were all sort of going to be okay to get us started. Um, we have our own website, but looking in further to um, digital marketing, we actually discovered that YouTube was a really good way for people to know about your brand. So Greg asked me initially if I was interested in creating a YouTube channel and I was not keen and I think I remember saying to him I just don't want to do it. Um, these insecurities were my own. I was not sure how I would feel about getting in front of a camera, you know, my friends, my family and people seeing me on camera. And also to the concept of actually just talking to a camera is really, it's a little bit weird. Um, you do get used to it and after making our first few videos and we've been making them every week since then, um, we've slowly, I've slowly gotten, it's got easier. So it's, it's, I think it's natural and normal unless you're one of those people who is used to it or, um, you know, is just good in front of a camera. Those insecurities are totally normal. If I can do it, I think that anybody can do it. Um, and as I have said, it does get easier and you do sort of just start to get over yourself a little bit and go for it. You know, if you've got something that you really want to share with people, why not? Why not? let them know about it and YouTube is a really good way to do that. Don't hold yourself back from the world because you're afraid of being judged. This video is really short and it is quite personal for me um, to share with you guys sort of how uh, I felt with getting started with creating a YouTube channel and um, the reason why we did it. Um, I hope that you can take something away from it and um, if you have any questions or anything about um, you know the personal stuff of how we got started or how I felt with getting started or even how I'm feeling now, please comment down below and like and subscribe.